Thanks. I have you know my husband can do everything. So, it's a woman doctor? Yeah, Dr. Oh. Siglin. She still has a few more applicants to see, but I think the job interview went pretty well. He thinks it went real well, and he thinks he's got the job. Mm. Uh, Cliff, <laughs> when are you going to know for sure? It'll be a couple days. <sighs> Certainly hope it does come through, although I don't see how you're going to manage the commuting between here and King's Cross. Well, we've decided that we're not going to do that. We've decided that we're going to move there. Uh, just for a few months? Well, it hardly seems worth the trouble. They have uh, living quarters in the residence dorms. What, all three of you in a teeny tiny room? Actually, they're pretty large apartments. Uh-huh. Well, I don't see why you just don't stay there all week and then come home on the weekends. We would rather be together. Mm. Yes, just the way you and I like to be together, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> but do you like Cliff's beard? Nina. You haven't said anything. Beard? What beard? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I no, think you have just the kind of face for it, don't you? It does eliminate a good ten, ten minutes a day from a man's busy, busy life. Yeah, I guess it does. Actually, I just started out with laziness and... I'm starting to like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Oh, I'll do what she's on. Come on, Nancy. Come on, Nancy. Oh, yes. Hey. 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 Look who's here. Oh. Hey, Mom. Oh. Hi, Nancy. Did you miss How us? How you doing? You miss us? Did you miss us? Yeah, huh? like your daddy's Playing beard. Playing with the beard again, <laughs> huh? Yeah? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, I miss huh? you so much. Uh. Now. Okay, we all set? Are we set? Are we all set? Oh, come on then. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get your toy basket. Okay. Toys toys. Home. Oh, oh my goodness, what a big man. Here we go. Here it is. There. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let me hold it. You can hold it. You got him? Hi. Wait a second. Come here. See your mom comes. Don't be a stranger. It was our fault. Okay, you got it. stranger. Okay. Myra, thanks so much for taking care of him, okay? Oh, and thanks Sloane, too. Would you uh, showing him all the puppies? You know what fun we all had. Would you give me a hug before you go? Give her a oh. hug. Oh. After she's been so nice to You're you. Bring him so again, mean. and I'll get one next time. <laughs> okay? Ready to go? Thanks again. Here we go. Come on. Goodbye. Go. Oh, you drive carefully now, won't you? We will. Bye-bye, sweetie. Well... I'm going to go clean up. All right, I'll be there in a minute to help with the dishes. No need. <laughs> Nothing here but iced tea. Well, then you'll have to have a glass of iced tea. You know, it's bad enough that my, my son-in-law is a disgrace, but is, does he have to go around looking like a bum? Oh, Palmer, honestly, stop. What do you call that growth he's sporting? For goodness sakes, every man once in his life grows a beard. Yeah, so does every man go out on a job interview looking like he just came off the Bowery? <laughs> No, you're being absolutely impossible. Mm. Think of all the distinguished men that have beards. Think about the Smith brothers and, and George oh, Bernard please. Shaw. Oh, I mean, please, now you can't even mention they can't in the same breath with that, <laughs> uh, that ne'er-do-well appendage of our family. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Don't you dare walk out on me. Don't you dare think you can boss me around. I'm going to the kitchen to do dishes with my mother. Oh, you're going to the kitchen to do dishes. Well, that's a good out, all right. Well, I see. I suppose that's what it's going to be. Now, whose glass is it? Sloan. Yes, sir. I want to see Palmer. I shouldn't mind remaining while Mr. Chandler is here, sir, in case I'm needed. Well, that's very kind of you, but I really don't think it'll be necessary. No, I'm sure Mr. Chandler will comport himself as a gentleman, and if he doesn't, well, then I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Thank you very much. Very well, sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chandler, sir. Elbio. Mm -hmm. Palmer. Adam. You taking the drinking by yourself? Well, this is iced tea. Would you care if some? What I would care for is if for you to mess out of my personal life. Oh. Oh, are you referring to your dismal defeat at the polls? No, I'm referring to my wife. And you're discussing my ex-wife. Ah, oh, yes, yes, Althea. Well, I must say, Erica did show an inordinate interest in the woman. Where did you find out about Althea? Well, there's some secret about your former wife. Anything Erica wants to know, I'll tell her. 
There's no need for you to supply gratuitous information. Well, actually, the little I did tell Erica was pried out of me by her natural curiosity. Who told you about Althea? Why are you so upset? I asked you a question, Palmer. You shouldn't get so hypertense in this weather, you know. You could have a stroke. You stay out of my life. Or you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, more threats? You hear me. You press me too hard. And you're not going to be any shape to spy on anybody. Oh, I want you. Let's make love. Oh, I want you to. No, it's impossible. Erica. My mother might come down mother, in a minute. Come on from my hotel room. Oh, no, I can't. I did. I can't do that. If Adam ever found out, he would kill us Erica, both. How is he going to find out? I don't know, but I'm afraid. Right, listen to me. I want to tell him about us. No. Erica, he cannot keep you from leaving him. Yes, he can. He can. I'm, please, no. Please, don't do anything to anger him. I mean, look what he did to Tom. Erica, we want each other. I know, but we have to wait. Well, how long? I don't know till it's right. Well, that's going to be never. No, please, trust me. Trust me. Erica, I don't want you spending another minute with that man. I'll be all right. Oh, I'm going to stick around to be sure. Well, what about your work? My work? I'm <laughs> I've finished the article, right? I've sent it off. The article in the referendum. I can do the rest of my work right here in Pine Valley. But I can't see you. You can't see me? No. You can see me. You gotta see me. I love you. Mike, I love you. You know, we're gonna work it out. I'm gonna find a way. I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. No. Erica, I will see you tomorrow. Friday, Kraus dreams she's been murdered. What? It's my dream. It's my dream too, but it's not like it. Benson, Ben Webster enters a karate competition. See you later. Then again. Yellow belt. And Turbo, hang on. A high flying terrorist is gunning for Blue Thunder. Then Matt Houston gets a message from the mob. You and your friend are both dead. Friday, all starting at 8 7 South Roland Mountain. You know, this isn't bad. Where did you get it? In the pantry. It's cooking wine. <laughs> Aren't you clever? I try. I don't understand you. I don't know how you can stand there so calmly after all the things that Adam has just said to you. Oh, oh, he's all talk, no action. <sighs> oh, oh, believe oh, you. Where did you get this? It isn't too bad, you know. Wait, 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 wait. Have you heard? Adam Chandler is the one who tried to kill Tom Cudahy. What? Uh -huh. Well, I just uh, I had a call from the Ramsey's cook. She said Adam Chandler is the one who drove poor Mr. Cudahy into that ditch. Well, how on earth did she hear that? From Brooke. Brooke, 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 Brooke was just at the hospital to see Tom Cuddy, so she... Well, is, is, is Tom sure that it was Adam who was in the other car? Well, no, apparently he's not absolutely sure, but Brooke is. She says it's got to be Mr. Chandler who's behind it, at least. Well, what kind of earth would Adam have against Tom? I don't know. Well, Tom was married to Erica once. Maybe he's jealous. No, I don't... no, 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 no. Adam would never put himself in that kind of jeopardy. No, no, no. No, but maybe he would hire somebody who did, and he would do the same thing to you. I know it if you crossed him. He on, just now. stood here and threatened you, didn't he? And, and, and I'm... What, what are you doing? Trying to build some kind of gothic I'm novel? not trying to build anything, Palmer. You get me so confused sometimes. But you already poked into his past. You already told Erica about his ex-wife. All I did was tell her her name, that's all. Palmer, that's... that was not all you did. You stopped that gambling mall. The man yes. must hate you for that alone. Yes, so you stay away from him from now on. Do you understand? Listen. You don't... Don't let him near you. I have no intention of letting Adam Chandler dictate to me. Ugh. Will you please, just for once, not be so stubborn? Will you please? The man is violent. Well, if he wants to use that violence on me, I'm ready for him. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. With what? You know, I still have one of those pistols left from my collection, oh, and it would do my heart good to use it on no. Adam Chandler. You can't do Come. that. No, you mustn't do Come that. Oh, no. Well, when one is dealing with a mad dog, it becomes necessary to think that way. <laughs> <laughs>